This is an automobile, one of the first of its species. Widely known as a horseless carriage, tin lizzy, and much less polite description. There's no doubt, however, that the automobile spurred the demand for roads. It also spurred legislation to protect the innocent, that is, those who couldn't afford a car. As in 1903, when 10 miles an hour was made the speed limit in urban areas. Then there was proposed legislation that would have meant two years in the slammer for motorists causing a horse to run away. That was defeated. And presumably, horses had the option of bolting when they spotted that curious creature known as the horseless carriage approaching. But the road system flourished and the car population boomed. From a mere 517 in Ontario in 1906 to an amazing 35,000 in 1915. Road building was in a primitive stage, and ironically, it was the horse that did most of the work, leading to his own demise as a primary means of transportation. Automobile had arrived with a bang. So had accidents. And so had snowplows. Then came the 1930s, a decade that made highway history in Ontario and the world, with the official opening of the Queen Elizabeth Way. It was the world's first superhighway. came the freeway era in the 50s, when Ontario highway construction took off after the Second World War and was on its way to becoming the best system of its kind in the world. This was something else, another first. Construction work on the Trans-Canada Highway. A job that involved crossing rivers, cutting through rock, and battling the elements. All part of the work of building a highway from sea to sea and beyond. After your plane came the highways in the sky in the 1950s and 60s. First, the Burlington Skyway. Then, the Garden City Skyway, here under construction. Farther down the canal, lift bridges were causing major traffic congestion. So, it was down to earth again. In fact, under it. With the Welland Canal traffic gliding majestically above, the 60s saw construction of two tunnels under the waterway, and motor traffic flowed as never before. The lift bridge era was out. Tunnels were in. Enter the modern superhighway. This one, a 12-lane section of the mcdonald carchet Freeway, otherwise known as the 401.
congestion was becoming a dirty word in the language, and coping with it demanded more and wider highways. But cars grew faster than roads. The car makers were pushing for two in every garage. Highway officials thought it was...